Now that you've decided to purchase a home to live in or possibly an investment property, it's important to review a situation with a mortgage broker. We'll go through things like your serviceability, your cash position, or perhaps your equity position. But overall, it's important to ensure that no matter where you apply for a mortgage, that you'll attain an approval at the end of the process. So when banks are assessing your circumstances, what are they looking for? Most banks have been advised to place a servicing buffer of 2.5% above the rate that you qualify for. This is to ensure that your affordability is present when assessing your application. Other considerations for the lender come into play. Some of those might be LVR or loan to value ratio, DSR, debt servicing ratio, or other items. Different banks will have different requirements for them to consider. This is all centered around your affordability and serviceability of the lending that they're seeking to approve for you. It's important to approach a lender that will work with you in your circumstances. And it's important to do that upfront work and assessment with a mortgage broker before lodging any application to any bank. Lenders mortgage insurance, what is it? After the financial crisis, lenders mortgage insurance is an insurance that all banks must have for any loan where a client borrows more than 80% of the funds required. Some people consider this to be a negative, especially those with a smaller deposit. However, there are a lot of benefits to paying lenders mortgage insurance. For instance, if you do have a smaller deposit, it means that you can attain finance through a lender whilst paying lenders mortgage insurance, which is usually added to your loan amount, which will enable you to get into the market much sooner. One good way to think about it is, if you're going to pay $10,000 in lender's mortgage insurance but are able to enter the market sooner, will the value of your property increase by that same amount in a period of 12 to 24 months? In most cases, the answer is yes. So therefore, there is a benefit to paying that lender's mortgage insurance and entering the market sooner to start to realize the growth of the property that you're purchasing. For those of you that already own a property, you've probably heard the term cross-collateralization. Now, what this means in the simplest of terms is using your existing property to secure the purchase of another. There is a right way and a wrong way to go about this. In most cases, we encourage our clients to use their existing security and equity within by leveraging that equity in a separate loan or enough money for the deposits required for the next purchase. Once you've attained your equity release, you would then approach the bank for a secondary application, either with the same bank or a separate bank to complete your purchase. This ensures that you avoid cross-collateralizing those two properties together. In conclusion, it's really important to ensure that your broker has covered off on all the points mentioned today. Most meetings would require you to meet with your broker, sit down and talk about your circumstances, your goals, and also understanding your employment, Perhaps you might be earning some tax-free income, perhaps not, but it's always important to ensure that your broker has covered off with you as much as possible when considering fees, income, banks, products, and policies.